Hey guys, uh, I'm here to do my 17 week update. What are you doing? <laughs> You're being silly. Um, I just got back from the doctor. Did we see the baby? Haha. <laughs> yeah? Did we hear the baby's heartbeat? Did he broke his arm? Yeah, did he broke his arm. We went in to get his um, cast off on Monday and it wasn't healed. So we have two more weeks. So six weeks all together. It's been awesome. <laughs> no, it's awful. It's so hard to give him baths and Mommy stuff. Mommy got you. And with summer Mommy coming, so we can't go swimming. And uh, Anyway. So, about the baby. Um, we went to the doctor th this morning. We just barely got back. Um, and I was hoping so much they wouldn't be able to find a heartbeat right away. So they'd have to do an ultrasound. <laughs> because then I knew I was far enough along that we'd be able to find out what it is. Because I'm 17 weeks, so um, we went in and he tried to get a heartbeat. He tried and tried and tried and tried, and finally he found one, which of course I was ecstatic he found a heartbeat, but I didn't get an ultrasound, <laughs> so I was bummed. So we go find out on the 25th. Um, is my scheduled 20 week ultrasound. I'll actually be like 19 weeks and a few days, like three or four days or something like that. Um, but that's when my ultra, big ultrasound is. So I am way excited about that. I am excited to make sure that the baby's healthy and everything. Um, and of course find out what it is. Um, I did the Down syndrome test today. I'll find out what the results of that are in a week and a half. Um, my doctor doesn't recommend doing that because I guess it's not very accurate. And he doesn't feel like you should know that. So he doesn't want you to terminate the pregnancy if your child were to have Down syndrome. So he does not recommend getting it, but we got it anyways. I've got it with both of my boys. Um, I have a cousin that has Down syndrome, so it's in our family. So I would really like to know. Um, I, of course, wouldn't terminate the pregnancy. I would just like to know before I had the baby so you can kind of prepare yourself emotionally, mentally, um, and all that. So, um, yeah. But I know oftentimes that the test comes back positive, and then they do an amnio, and it's totally fine. So, um, if it comes back negative, it's just a nice peace of mind. If it comes back positive, um, I just don't worry about it very much, you know. But it's never came back positive with my kids, and obviously, they're fine. So, um, what you doing? Cracker. Did you get a cracker? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, but, oh, this is going to be shaky now. Um, that's really all this week. There hasn't been a whole lot different still the same stuff, um, like up all night going to the bathroom. Last night I went to the bathroom five times in an hour and a half. <laughs> it was crazy. It's like the baby sits right in the right position sometimes and I just, I have to go to the bathroom constantly. I don't think your body should even be able to make that much in that amount of time. <laughs> um, and my sleeping's gotten a lot better. I've started to sleep in cooler clothes, like just a uh, shirt, um, rather than like pants and everything. And so I am sleeping a lot cooler, so I'm sleeping a lot better. That's made a huge difference in my sleep. Um, that's about it, really, honestly. Um, that's all I can think of. Really, nothing has changed. I've been feeling really faint when I coach my son's soccer team. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but when I'm done coaching um, his games, then I'm like, whew, feel so faint, even like at halftime. Feel really faint. And my doctor just said that it was probably my blood sugar getting low. Um, to bring a snack and try to get my blood sugar back up or not eat sugary cereals or anything in the morning, which I really don't. I usually eat life in the morning, um, which is about as non sugary as you can get as far as cereal is concerned. <laughs> so, um, I didn't scratch you. I'm sorry. I didn't poke you. You're being silly. Um, yeah, so he just said make sure I get snacks to keep my blood sugar up. Um, unless I start passing out or anything like that. He said that's obviously very different or chest pains or anything like that. And then I have to come back in. Um, but yeah, everything's great and measuring great and gaining weight just fine. Um, I've gained, let's see, where am I at? about five, between five and six pounds now. So I'm starting to gain weight, which sucks, but it's good. It's good for the baby. So I'm right in the weight range where I should be gaining at this point. Um, so I feel really good about it. Uh, let me show you my belly. 
I really feel like it's grown this week. You just tell me what you think. I don't know. Maybe it looks the same, but I just feel like it's, I mean, it obviously is, but I feel like it's moving up higher. Oh, and one more thing too. Um, I was laying in bed last night and my husband wasn't in the room unfortunately, but I laid over and like right here on the side of my stomach, like right there, totally felt the baby kick, like a hard kick. I, I didn't think they were supposed to like kick that hard at this stage, but like when the doctor was trying to get um, a heartbeat, he was like, oh, he keeps swimming away from me. <laughs> so um, it must be pretty active, but um, yeah, it kicked really good. So I have felt two good hard kicks, um, a few little flutters and things like that, but I haven't felt a whole lot. So that's always exciting. So I hope, he said in the next month and a half, I should start feeling it every day. So yeah, I look forward to that. Um, but anyways, that's as far, or is that all, that's all I have for an update this week. So um, we will see you guys next week. And then the following week, I have my 20-week ultrasound. Can't wait. Okay, see you guys.